Hi, I'm Dr. John Camisi, okay. Chief Dental Officer with Vigilant Biosciences Incorporated here at the 2015 IDS meeting. We're debuting the Oncalert Oral Car Cancer Risk Assessment Kit. Uh, it's a two-pronged kit system that gives us a qualitative and a quantitative risk assessment of oral cancer using uh, salivary biomarkers, CD44 and total protein that basically when they're present in the saliva have been shown to uh, have the risk factors for oral cancer increased by 25 times those of people without those uh, biomarkers in their saliva. And it's a very simple, elegant test that uh, Vigilant has determined. The point of care test is a, uh, is a very simple test as indicated here. It comes with a collection cup, five milliliters of saline, and the testing mechanism. The patient takes the five milliliters of saline, will place it in their mouth, rinse for five seconds, gargle for five seconds, and spit into the cup. After the saliva uh, solution is in the cup, the doctor would then open up the foil pack for the Oncalert, remove the protective cover, and place it directly into the salivary solution and set it for 10 minutes. It will go, it basically, and they set it aside for 10 minutes. Uh, what will happen next is it fits perfectly into the hygiene flow. The patient will then go through medical history, go through the carrier's uh, identification, do their periodontal uh, risk assessment, and then basically can start their, their overall cleaning process. After that, at 10 minutes, the colometric change will indicate if there is a higher risk of oral squamous cell carcinoma or not. If there's no color change, the patient is at low risk, so no further need for additional testing. And then they can be just screened, uh, they can then be just, uh, and then they can then be just uh, reviewed and have a risk assessment every year. If, however, that first test comes out with indicating a high risk, then the patient would then be counseled by the doctor, and a second point of care test could then be done between one to three months later. If, however, that second test comes back again with high risk indication, then the second laboratory quantitative test is then done. The quantitative test, again, you take that same type of sample, five milliliters of saline, swished and gargled in the mouth, five seconds each, label the container, send it to lab. At lab, a simple ELISA assay can be run on both the CD44 and the total protein, then giving the overall uh, quantitative risk assessment. This is the first time we've ever had an ability to have both a qualitative alert and then a quantitative assessment that helps the care providers determine the next steps for intervention and hopefully long-term good care.